Yo, what's going on guys? It's Deku back again bringing you guys some more Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Guys, tonight it's really late and it, it, it's super late. I've never uploaded this late before. I'm not even sure I'm going to go through with this late upload. So this was supposed to be a Flashback Friday video. It kind of can kind of still be one, but it, it's just a Flashback Friday video that's being uploaded on Saturday. So give me a break, guys. But let me hop into this new content, and we will talk about the Pelicans' loss in a bit. I know everybody wants to hear my opinions on that. You followed me on Twitter. You kind of saw me go a little psycho. I mean, it happens, you know. Uh, pretty diehard fan, and it happens. I complain, and I'll be back tomorrow. It, it just is. Okay, here. Here we go. We got Vernon Davis on the screen. 98 overall. Wait, what, what is that? Plus two catching traffic. So... Historically, Madden has given Vernon a very bad catching traffic rate. Well, not very bad, just not the best. So I'm kind of shocked that he has plus two catching traffic on his Combine Warrior card and also a 97 catching traffic on this card. But yo, 97 speed, 95 catch, 90 strength. Run blocking is also cool. Uh, I think the impact block is like a 75. Look at this, man. 95 excel. Oh my gosh. I definitely have to pick him up, but I'm I'm saving coins. A 97 jump. I'm saving coins, trying to get positional hero Russell Wilson. It's going to take some time, probably a lot of time. But I am down for the cause, as you guys see the run block forward. But that doesn't matter, man. Did I pass it up already? All right, here we go. Wait, I saw the impact block. 75 impact block. So he's not a terrible run blocker. I know I probably passed it up, but the save time I saw it earlier. His run block is like a 75 and oh, I mean like a 75. It's a 78. You guys see it on your screen. So with that being said, let's move over and check out the next car. All right, guys, check this out. I'm scrolling everywhere, frantically trying to find the, the Dequel Jackson flashback card, and I just cannot do it. I don't see any on the auction house so i mean that's not really a surprise though i mean you guys have seen in the past uh, the first day flashbacks rarely get pulled well i mean i'm just saying you've seen it i'm not saying it's a, a reoccurring thing but it kind of has been so i mean let's go for this Darrell revis let's try to be great i mean this flashback revis definitely looks like a beast of a card 97 speed 99 excel 5 foot 11 now that's going to turn a lot of people off but I'm starting to warm up to 5'11 cornerbacks. Like, that's about as short as I'm going to allow my cornerbacks to be. As you guys see, a 98 zone coverage. I don't know what it is. I, I think the end of my... I think people are finally starting to, like, chill out a little bit. I'm not seeing the crazy, stupid blitzes as much. And uh, also, I'm not seeing as much face catching. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, checking out this Darrell, though. What's his catch? 81 catch. So, you guys know how I feel about the catch rating. I mean, does it really matter? Because we've had free safety Calvin. I mean, we've had a golden ticket free safety Calvin. Dropping users. Dropping picks. Like, this, this just shouldn't happen. It's Calvin Johnson. Like, give me a break, man. So, let's move over to the flashback pack. Here we are. Flashback pack. Now, I told you guys I would talk about the Pelicans for a second. Let me tell you guys, man. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, you if you've been a Pelicans fan, you've kind of seen it all, so you never really felt comfortable with that lead. And I know you're thinking, oh, that's just, you're saying that because they lost. No, if you're a Pelicans fan, you understand. And uh, if you're a New Orleans sports fan in general, you understand. If something can go wrong, it probably will, and you should brace yourself for that. Like, that was, like, one of the first times I've ever been, like, truly sad after a sports game it was kind of a crazy feeling so i wasn't like sad or mad at first because i was like yo uh what just happened that didn't happen i actually think i had a nightmare about the game but uh definitely big shout out to the crowd for coming through i think that's why i was really sad though is because uh you, you really haven't seen new orleans basketball have that support or a level for uh, some time now and I, I felt like that was a game uh we really we really could have came out established ourselves made some noise and, uh, you know, got the city behind the team. So I think that's the real reason I was sad more uh, or, or less the Pelicans losing. So it definitely it sucked. It, it really sucked from a fan standpoint. It would have been a fire game if I was a Warriors fan. But uh, as a basketball fan in general, it, it just sucked to see the Pelicans 
lose that game. Unbelievable. And the, the crazy thing is, the shot by Steph, uh, his first shot was a two-pointer. So, that, that, that really sucked. Uh, anyways, <laughs> here we go. Flashback topper. Pulling for Darrell Revis. Popping open the pack. And we got a James Harrison. Okay. So, I don't remember his price. I think he was not going for that much. Not about to gas this up. Uh, 90 block shed, a 95 pursuit. Looks like your typical 3-4 linebacker. Uh, 75 zone coverage. We got to throw him up on the auction house after this. Let's see. Where where is his power move? We got to give him like a 90-something power move. Out. 95. Let's guess 95. Okay, 98. My bad. My bad, big dog. We gave him a 98 power move. That's, that's pretty nice. A, a 74 finesse move. So, I'm going to guess his price is probably like... Um, let, let, let's take a guess. Let's say 80k. I don't remember. My memory's terrible. Even if I saw James Harrison before this, I'm not going to remember. It's just who I am as a person, and we learn to accept that. So scrolling down, looking for James Harrison. Wow, that was a terrible guess. So these flashback and throwback players, man. I see why there's so few up on the block because there's not really incentive to pull for them right now. And uh, I guess because the elite badges are also so cheap. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, man. More Madden 15 Ultimate Team coming soon. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, show your support, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'm D Coop, and I'm out. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's D Coop back again, bringing you guys some more Madden 15 Ultimate Team. I hope you guys saw my gameplay that I uploaded earlier in the day. If you did not, be sure to check it out after this video. It is a pretty epic gameplay. So, we will be pulling a throwback pack today. Now that sounds great. That sounds awesome, right? But I haven't heard any announcement of any new...